Hello everyone, I'm Balisut Balipun, researcher from the Department of Archaeology, Faculty of Archaeology, Sinbagon University. Welcome everyone to the Sinbagon International Field School. Today's topic is the fundamental of uh, conservation during and after excavation. And for today's presentation, all of the archaeological remains come from uh, Nong Lachuat archaeological sites. Nong Lachuat archaeological site located in central Thailand in Supanburi province. Uh, they echoed by the <coughs> second second regional office of the fire art department from 2003 until now. The dating result is in the Neolithic period, about 3,000 years ago. Most of the artifacts found in this site are burial activities and we also found the uh, uh, diagnostic artifacts like uh, tripod pottery, uh, police stone tool, all of them found in the burial context and you will see in the picture on the right hand side is one of the outstanding pottery form found in this site also they call a pottery with the breast Nong Lachuat archaeological sites is to one of the famous open site museum in Thailand now and many of the local primary and high school students come to visit and learn how the archaeologists work or do their operation and learn about their history in their area. Uh, for today, I will show you about the procedure how to treat or deal with the archaeological remains found in excavation step by step. For the example, I made a decision to demonstrate with the turtle shell found with the burial number 213 beer and offering. As you see in the presentation, we found them lower the feet of the burial number 213. We found both pieces of the turtle shell, the calapace part. The calapace part is uh, an upper part or a loop of the turtle. And the paston part, the paston part is a lower part or the shell that covering their chest. As you seen in the picture, the, the picture of the, the, the turtle shell, the part that show you is the paston part. The, the, they, they're in the upside down position when, the, when we found them. And first of all, you have to set up your pan before you do anything by careful consideration. And most importantly, you have to be concerned about the state of preservation of the artifact you found and you're working with. And you have to make sure you have to have a contingency or emergency plan for any unexpected file you found during the excavation. And 
after you set up set up your plan you have uh, your procedure and now you can work with the artifact by start removing most of the soil that cover and surround the archaeological remains but not all of them leave some of the adhering soil for supporting the archaeological remains to remove the soil covering the archaeological remains during the excavation has always been planned with the watchful procedure and to make sure you have to choose the proper or suitable equipment considering by the state of the present preservation of the archaeological remains they still hard enough or soft or fragile you have to make the consideration about this in this slide show you when an archaeologist do excavation when they found the burial number 213 from the beginning they found a skull part first and then they slowly remove all of the soil covering the burial and also the offering by all the equipment and the technique they got um, for excavation the archaeologists they use a small size of the equipment start with the bamboo stick they really easy to find in Thailand and after that they use the dental equipment and also the trowel uh, to excavation depend on the hardness of the soil in this video uh, they, sh they will show you about the archaeologists moving some of the soil that surround the turtle shell before before we do anything you have to remove some of the soil but not most not every soil surround the, the the turtle shell After you remove the soil and surround the archaeological remain, next step is packing and lifting. In case of the artifact made from bone or the hard tissue material, make sure uh, they have they in the stable condition before you are lifting. And before you lifting, check your equipment that already prepare before you do anything and for the soil the surrounding or inside some of the harrow of the archaeological remains should not be removed because they often serve uh, a protective function to provide a support and holding them together and make sure your your container is the an appropriate or suitable for the archaeological men to put them after we lifting the turtle shell off the cow we can make a soil removing and the surface cleaning of the turtle shell please uh, slowly dye them 
do not try to dehydrate them by the drying them from the direct heat or the light and carefully remove soil from the surface of the turtle shell. You can use a soft batch and a tap water dissolved with the alcohol in the one by one ratio to clean the surface of the turtle shell. And in case of the archaeological remain in wet or damp condition, should not be let the moisture dry out, out of them. In this slide, I uh, show you about uh, working with the turtle shell after you lift them off the ground. We used uh, a small equipment like uh, a bamboo stick or or the uh, dental equipment depend on the hardness of the soil surround them. Also use uh, a soft brush and a tap water and a uh, spawn soak with the water to remove some of the dirt cover on the surface of the turtle shell so in this video we will show you about when we use a piece of the sponge with the water dissolved with the alcohol to remove to remove uh, the dirt from the surface of the turtle shell that uh, take a while to remove some of the dirt in the in the surface surface of the turtle shell because of the the dirt is still still stuck inside the small area of the turtle shell uh, you will see in the uh, video After you remove the soil and made the surface cleaning, you can, you can consolidate them. A consolidation for the example, in case of the unstabilized file, they have some chip or crack or some of the loose, some of the small fragment from, from them. You can use a structural or mechanical intervention technique. As you see in the picture, they use a uh, plastic wrap and some of the medical cords to holding them together to consolidate them. And for the facing or adhesive technique, by use the medical gauze, uh, acid free mobile paper, a cotton canvas, coat with the paraloy or acryloy B72, this though about 2% in acetone. To coat on the surface of the artifact. In this slide, I will show you about the facing technique. 
I found this video on the internet. Thank you for uh, Indigo Arts Alliance channel on the YouTube. The facing technique they in this video they use a paper they call Japan tissue. First, they pasting the paper on the surface of the artifact, and they use a Polaroid B seventy two coat on the surface of the artifact and put a, a paper on the top of them and coat them again with the Polaroid B seventy two. After that, they use a plastic wrap to to be a, another layer on the top of the of the artifact to consolidate them to holding them together in the position they found during the excavation. In this video, we'll show you when we use the uh, Polaroid B72 to consolidate the paston part of the turtle shell. We, we dissolve the Polaroid B72 in the acetone about 2% there they still be a liquid form to, to cover the surface of the turtle shell. In this slide on the left, we'll show you about after finished the soil removing and already made the surface cleaning by use a sponge soap with the water and clean the surface, the dirt on the surface of the turtle shell. And the light size is a result after consolidation with the Polaroid B72. This slide will show you a result from the beginning to the end from the start from the soil removal by using a small size of the equipment and made a surface cleaning until consolidate them with the Polaroid B72. And thank you for watching and hope everyone enjoy and gain the knowledge more or less for this presentation. Thank you.